What's up all my Nickopediacs with the Olympics right around the corner. I'm gonna give you 27 awesome facts about gymnastics. Here we go. Gymnastics has been around in one form or another for over 2,000 years. The word gymno actually comes from the ancient Greek, which means to exercise naked. I'm sure it'd get a lot more views if we still did that. The ancient Greeks used gymnastics in other Olympic events as part of their training for war. Wrestling, boxing, running, climbing, jumping, discus, and javelin were all skills that could be translated to combat. Gymnastics was actually banned back in 393 AD by Roman Emperor Theodosius, who thought it caused corruption. Dr. Dudley Allen Sargent is credited for teaching gymnastics during the American Civil War. He developed tools and techniques that evolved into the modern gymnasium. Thank you, Dr. Dudley. Friedrich Ludwig Jahn became known as the father of modern gymnastics. He came up with the balance beam, the parallel and horizontal bars, the pommel horse, ladder, and vaulting horse. By the end of the 19th century, men's gymnastics was popular enough to be included in the first modern Olympic Games held in 1896. Back then, gymnastics included such things as synchronized team floor exercises, rope climbing, high jumping, running, and horizontal ladder. Pretty different than what we have today. In 1954, Olympic gymnastics standardized the apparatus and events for men and women. They also officially adopted the 1 to 10 point system. Women's gymnastics was introduced in the 1928 Olympic Games, but the only event was synchronized calisthenics. It wasn't until 1952 that women were allowed to compete in the full range of events. Rhythmic gymnastics was added in the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. It combined elements of ballet, gymnastics, and dance. The choreography must cover the entire floor and contain a balance of leaps, jumps, pivots, flexibility, and balance movements. French acrobat and gymnastics instructor Jules Leotard liked the one-piece exercise garment so much, they named it after him. The Leotard is now a staple of gymnastics training and competition. Very interesting that they didn't name it after the guy who invented the leotard. They named it after a guy who just really liked it. That's kind of like me really liking milk and saying that every morning you should wake up and combine your Cheerios with some Nick. I'll have a tall glass of Nick. <laughs> I'll have 2% Nick. Uh, yeah, a little bit of Nick in my coffee. <laughs> Male gymnasts do not use music during their routines. Romanian gymnast Nadia Comaneci received the first perfect 10 ever in 1976. Female gymnasts cannot compete in the Olympics until they are at least 16 years old. Dominique Mucianu at 14 is the youngest female athlete ever to win a gold medal at the Olympics. Due to the change in the age requirements back in 1996, there is a chance that nobody may ever be able to beat her record legally. North Korea was banned from the 1991 Olympics after they falsified documents relating to their star gymnast Kim Won Suk, who looked to be no older than 11 or 12 at the time. North Korea isn't the only country that has been accused of lying about the ages of their gymnasts. China has also been accused of falsifying information about their competitors back in the 2008 Olympic Games. If you pull off a difficult move, it may be named after you. Kelly Garrison, a female gymnast from the United States, has three different moves named after her. It is nearly impossible to get a perfect 10. The scoring system was revised in 2006 to keep gymnasts from getting perfect scores. George Iser of the United States won six medals in the 1904 Olympics and is considered as the most remarkable gymnast in history as he won them with a wooden leg. Yar! Carrie Strug made history in 1996 when she stuck the vault landing on an injured foot and had to be famously carried off the mat by her coach. The Strug is real. The vaulting horse was initially set two inches too low at the 2000 Olympics. This resulted in a bunch of poor scores and do-overs, with some athletes like Elise Ray completely missing the vault during practice and landing on her back. The officials eventually adjusted it to the correct settings, but the psychological damage was already done. USSR's Larissa Latinina is the most successful female gymnast in the history of the Olympics. 
as she won 18 medals between 1956 and 1964. Shannon Miller is considered the most decorated women's gymnast with 49 national and 59 international competition medals. Nastia Lukin is tied with Shannon Miller for the third highest tally of world championship medals. On August 15th, Lukin performed routines on all four events, sticking her landings on three of them to win the all-around gold medal with a final score of 63.325. It was only the third time in history an American woman had won the Olympic all-around title. Nastia's teammate Sean Johnson took home the silver medal at the same competition, making it only the fourth time in history that two athletes from the same country had taken first and second place in the women's all-around. After her retirement, Nastia Lukin founded her own gymnastics competition. The Nastia Lukin Cup began in 2010 and is considered a showcase for pre-elite gymnasts who are on their way to make it big. Sean Johnson, in addition to being an Olympic champion, is another kind of champion as well, being crowned the winner of Dancing with the Stars Season 8. This year's American women's team is one of the most diverse ever. It includes Gabby Douglas, who is the first African-American woman in Olympic history to become the individual all-around champion, and the first American gymnast to win gold in both the individual all-around and team competitions at the same Olympics. The Federation of International Gymnastics is the oldest existing sports organization. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more fact videos just like this. And Sean Johnson actually has a YouTube channel and I want you to click right here to go over to her YouTube channel. She does vlogs, a lot of other cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you really soon.